Hey everyone, Ben Pop here, and welcome back to the Kingdom of Exterior's campaign in Age of Charlemagne for a total, total war. Last time we took out Amelia, it wasn't a tough, tough fight, but we had a fight. You know, we even lost one of our regular swordsman units. Uh, we're gonna have to chase away these guys, and then we're, I think we're gonna start a war with Valencia right away. We, we're not like. I mean, it's part of our. It's on our to-do list, you know. There's no other way to get them to join our side without fighting them, uh, and and it's like I I must fight them. So um, and we're trading with them right now, and that's gonna, you know, cut back our our income a bit. But uh, looks, oh, have we not been trading with the Franks? What the heck happened, you guys? Let's let's start a trade with the Franks. That's gonna be. It's going to be a nice uh, bonus to our uh, money too, because look, I mean, they're, you know, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm going to demand money from them. They're like, yeah, sure, we'll give you money. We'll give you uh, three thousand, three hundred. Oh no, you want us to join war against Angria? No, I really want, I really want trade agreement. So. um... 3,000 for trade? Okay, thank you. Right, so look at that. They're actually stronger than I am. I am strength ranking two, ranking two and they're one. So it's a nice, nice people to be like super allies with. Uh, we're gonna initiate more diplomacy, see if they wanna be military allies. Probably take some money off of them. Low there, so we'll have to cut back. Maybe do like. 700. Let's see. Still low. Uh, 300. Still low. So, you know what? We'll just do it now. Oh. Alright, you know what? Can you not commit their efforts to attack these people? Who do you want to... Frisia. I don't really need to attack Frisia. I'm not in position. Oh, Right. Our armies must march in your lands for a while. You know, uh, for that, you need to pay some money. Oh, wait. I keep clicking the wrong stuff. You know, we'll try later, okay? We will just try later. We can't move these guys. I decided to... Um, we're going to keep these guys here. I decided to move this army from Merida because public order is okay there. And they can sit here and recruit some troops. I want to I wanna try some of these armored swordmen. Um, they're expensive, but they're much better than the regular swordsmen. And we're going to give them to our uh, main army there. Our um, king who has lost the swordsmen, he has two. So we'll switch out those two. Wait. Those are sp noble skirmishers. He has three swordsmen. So he, he can have a fourth one. He can have a fourth one. There we go. We'll give him four noble swordsmen armored swordsman and take the other three away and then this person will sit here to kind of guard and um, this person is going to move into Guadalajara and take it they're going to do that I don't know if he's got the manpower to do it uh, with what he has because those two Valencia armies are right there what I could do I'll, I'll wait until next turn to try to use my um, Spy at least to slow down one of them. So those guys are taking nutrition up there as well, and this guy um, can sneak over here. Although there's attrition, what is it? Winter? It's, oct it's October. I guess I uh, autumn. I don't know why I said October. Close. Close. Where's the border? I guess if we go here, we're in Lugo. Okay, how close can we go? Leon. Right there! There's no attrition right there. Okay. And he can recruit some stuff here. So, uh, we have plenty of money, so we'll do some recruiting. Our income is almost, you know, at 10,000 in the bank every time. So we can afford some of these some of these things. So we're going to give him another, um, another cav unit. A couple of swords. Uh, we'll give him a couple more spearmen uh, but I do want to get ambushers instead of regular spearmen I think although their defense is not as good we'll do two ambushers two spearmen 
and some of the skirmishers, I think. I think noble skirmishers, regular skirmishers, tribesmen. I don't know. Uh, we've got to go for these guys. Okay, and maybe even an onager. And that'll be a good enough army to hold here in case we get attacked by anything. Uh, the other thing I want to do is upgrade some stuff. It's not too expensive to upgrade some things. I could upgrade those, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go for the cheaper stuff. Uh, that these two are. I mean, this I mean, this doesn't give me a lot, but it'll be good to upgrade. And then this will give me growth. That's good. We still have six thousand left. And I think that's probably all I want to upgrade at the moment. I would upgrade that, but it will increase our squalor. So we got to make sure we fight squalor. And then in Almeria, uh, we will have to re rebuild some stuff. So let's end the turn and see how things go. If they dare do something against me or not. Likely... Um, Starting with, with Valencia right now won't be such a bad idea. We have to clear that place out. And um, there's two provinces really that I have to take to unify and create the Kingdom of Spain. So that's really our main goal to begin with. These guys are going to suicide on the city, which is great. I don't, don't really care for... Uh, chasing them around, so we're gonna go balanced. I think we can. Oh, actually, I went defensive. I said balanced, but I clicked defensive. They would have to attack me anyway, so that's easy victory. Uh, I lost 52 guys. Thankfully, I kept all my units, and none of them died. Faction destroyed. I don't see why it decides what it why it needs to tell us every single time when, when an enemy character dies. Okay, so you have gained a rank, which is awesome. You needed a rank. We should probably work on getting you a legend title. Um, which means we have to get a bit of ev everything really. So sadly, I might not have to get this, but. We have one there. Let's go for these. Next time we'll have to get that. And maybe it will let us do legend. Okay. Uh, demolition complete. That's still over here. Right. I have to demolish yet another thing. I can't just demolish the whole thing uh, in one turn. You know. We carefully <laughs> took apart the building but left the mosque untouched. The previous mosque was a bit more fancy. It was a next level mosque. So, you know, we have to um have to take it apart carefully. Uh anyway, this will go into a market town because we already have a court and so on. That's getting built. Uh this army is ready to move really. Uh, we're gonna go sort of enter here so they can exchange units once this army makes their way back or up there. Um, if indeed I attack with these guys first, which I think I kind of should, let's do that. Let's let's go over here. Oh, that won't let me. Oh, so lame. Okay. If I was to force march, can I get back into town? No, <laughs> I can't. I always hope that I'm able to go into f uh, fortify and get that extra bonus. But no, I gotta sit right there and waste a turn, pretty much. I'm not really mad about wasting a turn. I just want to do the attack at the same time. Those guys pulled back that way. So... Uh, forget it. I think... I think I will wait. I think I will wait just just because. Leon is losing public order. It doesn't really make much sense how. But we have some undeveloped land here. 
And I think... It won't let me build like a second church school. So it's kind of sort of... Interesting about what I'm gonna pick here. We could do... We could do something with public order. Uh, besides the hostel. I don't know what that's gonna be. Another church. Another chapel. Sort of lame. Uh, sort of, sort of lame. We could... See, we have the hospice. We have the church school. We must upgrade this, but we're not there yet for the technology. Uh, there's really nothing that's going to give us public order here. Uh, if I build this, it's going to be stuck at level 1, because I can't... Oh, I could do militia, never mind. Eh. Boo. So I'm... I'm might as well go with the food market. Uh, a little bit less commerce, but it will give us more food. Food from commerce. So that's good. I mean, that's sort of what a church would kind of have a food sort of gathering marketplace around it. Why are you not upgraded? Why do I have this Levy's Commissioner anyway? This will upgrade you to. Oh, I'll just give you fletching. I don't want you around. Go away. Okay, that that's gonna be a decent force, I think. Uh, Onager. Maybe I'll get a couple more cav. Frontline makes uh, spears and swords. I have two swords. Heavy on the skirmisher side, but that's okay. All right, what can we build? I'm I'm assuming we're gonna have to we're gonna have to crank up. The volume on these uh, town centers and so on. The fishing port is upgraded all the way. I want to upgrade the manor. Might as well upgrade the manor. I'm not sure if I want to convert this to a regular market village. Probably not. Probably not at the moment. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really help me at all. So, uh, Santiago will get their things upgraded, and I think I was going to change this trade wharf to a fishing fishing wharf, since I can't upgrade the trade wharf anyway. Okay, let's end the turn, and. Um, Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to attack next turn. We're going to attack. Even though our, our units are not replenished over there, I'll take a city and replenish there while, uh, while moving north. Because I'll have new territory to replenish in. Oh, man. Somebody died at age five. Sadness. All right, diplomacy. Uh, I know you guys are likely to uh, not like what I'm going to do since, you know, we're trading with you, we're making money. I'm making 780, 739, sorry. Seeing the wrong numbers from you guys, but I'm, I'm guessing I'll make that money back when I, um, when I take all your land. So, do apologize. Uh, there's no need to fight this, so we will... We will auto resolve. Protective. Hopefully that won't kill off my cav. Okay. Luck. I'm in luck there. I lost 110 people somehow. We're gonna just occupy. Uh, we'll have to repair these things and then convert them. Almeria is. An uh, what can I build? I think we could do another farm here since our fertility is good. We are making a ton of food from here already, but that's fine. Or I could do a market. 
trade post. Don't see the other market available. Growth and commerce. Uh, food from agriculture and additional food and growth and wealth. So that's kind of kind of nice. We'll do that. Okay, when am I gonna have that royal charters? Right there. Okay. Not too far away. Not too far away. And you, sir. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, I just coughed in the microphone. You sir will probably need a few more units just for public order, don't you? Um, let's get a... I mean, those are expensive, but... We could use... Well... Let's do... More ground troops. Those are not expensive, and we can... Keep order with those. Uh, you will... Regularly march to there... Uh, and I think we have a good ambush chance, so we'll go into ambush stance next time. Okay, and you will go and attack Guadalajara. This is also an auto resolve because they have nobody here. Protective stance. Okay, we're gonna occupy that. So far, so good. At Guadalajara, we will have to. Repair and again, we'll have to watch for the squalor because it's gonna go up because of the iron veins. This is a very, <laughs> a very important area to have. We have iron, gold, and copper. So uh, it's kind of funny that I I put a church here, but it makes sense for the church to be here because of the central location. It will get that bonus to everything around. So Valencia is stuck. For the most part, in um, well, they have that, but they have Valencia itself and Tarragona. I think, I think I'll be able to pin them in and push them back. I think this this guy has to replenish. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, we're missing a unit, but we're gonna switch it. Switch troops around when that army comes in and then uh, he will kind of stay and defend or keep public order while the other two armies push in so not not so bad not so bad Toledo is losing public order because we just took Guadalajara and that messes things up and I think yeah these guys are back are good to move back in Leon for public order bonus and we're not going to spend any more money right now, because next, uh, with all these new territory we're getting, uh, per governor, the first crusaders leveled up. Okay. Ooh, I can give him replenishment. Although it's not like super. That's that's helping quite a bit. I mean, they have a four percent. So we're going to give him another two percent. I could. Give him a whole bunch of other stuff. But at the moment, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I want him to get back to full force. Okay, in Valencia, who can I make governor? We have. Uh, oh, I just hit the microphone. <coughs> Maybe this administrator? It's gonna get more taxes out of the place, but it makes more sense than having like a warrior or a marksman. You know. So he can go into Valencia. And then we will assign an edict of growth, I think. That's really keeping my food production in the high. If you see the edicts there, 140 just from edicts. So that's kind of it's helping with the growth of the place of the cities. And whatever buildings are using up the food, the edicts kind of get it back. So I think that's a good trade-off. We're so close, guys. We have just a few more 
Uh, well, we have two more cities to take from Valencia, and then we have three more to take from whoever owns them. I think it's uh, two different nations up there. One is Gascony, and the other one I forget which it is. Okay, so uh, a worthy bride for Garcia. Um, she is minus chance of having children. I don't even think this guy is in our in our um, place in our family. So I don't really care. I mean, I don't need to intervene. I'll just give blessing. So it's fine. They look pretty old people. Old people. So these guys came into my land, thinking of doing some kind of thing. Uh, so we will go. Hmm. I should have used my spy. So I should have done. Last turn. Okay, what do they have up here? We'll move this guy up here. Uh, can you just go? You can't just. Yeah, I have to. I have to, I have to trespass with the Duchy of Aquitaine. Right. Let's just go and see what there is anyway. Can't see anything anyway. Alright, well, that's okay. Uh, come over here, please. We will need you next turn, I think. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. We don't want idle hands, that's true. Uh, do we want to go through the Forest of forests. I think we kind of have to. Okay. Uh, I don't really care about public order there. We just want to push. This is uh, something that we're not going to need. So we're going to dismantle. And this is an estate. So we're going to change it into one of our manors. And this iron vine is gonna stay, so we don't create too much squalor. Although I think we look, we look, we look okay. We have plenty of sanitation. Oh, I know why. Here we go. We uh, connected. Essentially, we didn't have Leon connect with Guadalajara, so the bonus from Leon is mixing in with um, Toledo because we have Guadalajara. So the two churches are mixing their bonuses for uh, public order. And that's why we have so much. Which means that Leon has a bunch too. Or this is Cacheres, Cacheres. And Marca Media. 12. And Leon is over here. 8. Okay. So it's definitely adding up because it's o this is only doing... Uh, Wait, this would be the building. <laughs> four to uh, itself and four to the regions around. For some reason, this is getting more. Because it's got... 10 left out of 12. I don't know. It's getting four from there and it's eight. So, I'm okay with that. Totally okay. So let's let's actually upgrade some of these farms. Uh, if we add, okay, that's the wrong building. Uh, this will have. See, each each town has pretty much eight points left, ten points left. So when I get this up to four, they'll still have like, you know, six left. And that's okay. Alright, so these guys are likely going to come towards me. I'm uh, going to... I don't know. I think I'm going to sit here and lay an ambush just in case they go that way. And if they come out here, they won't... They will lay siege, but they won't attack right away. So I can react and uh, reinforce. You guys will move. Likely, not much better if we do enforce march, but I will use the force march just to get there. 
Okay, unassigned skills for an admiral. I really don't know what to give you. We'll give you pop, uh, in integrity because you've been liking that. So we'll do that. And this governor shall have... Hmm. So these two increase that. Okay. Now let's see what kind of trouble we can get into in the next turn, because I'm sure they will either attack me uh, with those both forces somewhere, or they'll sit where they are, kind of, kind of draw me out towards them, which is fine as well. I just wanted more time to recoup my units. Not a bad deal we have going on. We have a pretty good setup to finish their f their big armies off. So they're gonna move and attack. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, military investment. That's happening. Um, can you reach all the way here? The heck you can. How about regular march? Uh, well, uh, is it... I don't think we automatically get ambushed if we enforce march or anything, right? We're gonna go there. Uh, you... will be okay. Let's see, uh, I think... We don't have much of a garrison, but yeah, um, we're not going to surrender any time. So they, he'll try to sit and you know do something. Okay, you can obviously help. I think no, you can't. Oh, bloody! I wanted to like hinder them or something, but well, I'll bring you close. I'll bring you close. And you can make it as close as that, if you believe. There's apparently some attrition there. It's like the Avars are attacking in Venice now. Population surplus, we like seeing those. So Lisbon has another spot in the city which we can improve on. I have no idea what I'm going to build. Marble cutter. Maybe one of the markets. Uh, it is a city city. So. Let's see. Some of these will require the royal court. Abbey. Royal court. This one also requires a royal court or the palace. Yeah, the barracks will also require the palace in the end. So I'm gonna go for the market. Well, uh, religious wise, we're okay because that's growing. So we don't have to put a church in. So, food market. Or wine market. We do have a grape press here. I don't know. Let's go for the big wine market. Okay. <coughs> I think... I think we're pretty close to a conclusion here. But I do want to leave this... Um, the rest of this conflict for the next turn, if that makes any sense for you guys. Uh, here I need something for probably quarter. No idea what that's going to be. I can't do the hostel. I could do another chapel, but that's kind of silly. So there really isn't anything. I, isn't isn't anything I could do. I can do a trading post, I'll get a growth map. Yeah. Um, 
Go to a blacksmith. What is it gonna need? Doesn't give me any bonuses except for armor and weapons. Let's do a trading post. Okay, I think I dragged this on for enough time. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And... Oh. <laughs> I can't have the food market. No. What is it I build here? Does it... Does it require... Trade city. Okay, that's fine. So wherever that was that I just had a food market in, I was looking at Leon. We'll have to change that out. The wine market also requires a trade city. So that was money spent badly. I apologize. Although, you know, I could leave it there. I mean, it's, it's going to help with growth, right? Let's just leave it. It's going to help with growth, some commerce, some food. Why the heck not? It's a smaller food market. Don't have to upgrade everything to the max, right? Almeria is doing good. We're going to upgrade its farm. Uh, we're going to upgrade the fishing port. This place is under siege. Um, hoping that they don't attack me. Just so I can get this army in there too. And I'll be kind of... I mean, why not put in some armored swordsmen and chop up some... Baber Spurman. Right? They're, they're kind of light troops, so they're not super difficult to fight against but that's gonna be our next episode guys so let me know in the comments what you think and what uh, move I should do if I haven't mentioned it if I haven't seen it and share this out with your friends they might enjoy it too all in all I'm having fun so that's good and I hope to see you in the next one bye bye